Testing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been uploading a video in a really long time, and thank you for coming back and sticking with me. I've been super busy over the last month, both with work and having my own personal goals. Um, it's 2023, it's a new year, and I have some new year resolutions. Um, and one of them is actually the subject of this video. Um, I don't really have a script plan for you guys, so this is going to be a little bit of free thought. I'm just going to go over some of the some of my thoughts I've had applying to a Masters of CS program at a couple schools. And this has been something I've been thinking about for a long time, maybe a magnitude of a year or maybe two. Ever since I got my first job, I was thinking about getting a Masters. I wasn't sure if it was going to be an MBA, an MCS, or maybe even something different like a Masters of Data Science or a Masters of Statistics. I always kind of knew that I wanted to get a master's so. So this is what I've thought about and what I've came to terms with. A lot of people think that a master's in CS, especially if you've already been at a fan company, is a complete waste of time and a waste of money. And a lot of times you're correct. There isn't that much an MCS will offer you because if you get into those fan companies, there's so much learning that you can do at the company versus at a MCS where you get a limited problem set and you get to hone in in a different, in a set problem space. This kind of training is good if you wanna learn something like artificial intelligence or maybe distributed systems if you haven't worked on a large scale system like that before. And I think the real bread and butter of those kinds of programs are when you try to jump from a non-fane or a non-tech job into a tech job. So why do you really need this if you're already working for one of the big companies and you're already doing, learning this on the job? I think it's if you really want to specialize, this is a really good opportunity to do that. For example, if you've already worked at low-level system programming but you want to switch to data science or artificial intelligence, getting a master's and studying for a year or two to do that is a good way of branching off. I had this conversation with my manager because he has a master's degree and in my experience working at large tech companies, I feel like most managers or L6 or above have a master's degree in something. My old manager had an MBA and numerous other managers had some sort of advanced degree. I don't think it's necessary because I've seen really high level individual contributors have just a bachelor's um, and while it might be a bachelor's from like a top five or top 10 CS school, it's still like they still made it very far in the career with just a bachelor's. So it's not impossible to get to those really high level positions with just a bachelor's. But he asked me like why I wanted to get a master's. Is it for the certificate or is it for just additional education. And if it was something that could be offered at a master's, it's easier than being offered at, on the job. Like for example, like data science or statistics, then it's completely worth getting a master's. But things such as distributed systems or distributed computing, you can probably learn better on the job. So that brings me to my next point is knowing whether I wanted to do it for a certificate or I wanted to do it for additional knowledge. And I came to terms that I think I wanted to do for both. I think that having the certificate will open doors for me, especially if I get into a good enough CS school. And also there's a few jobs that do require having that certificate. Like for example, a really big field that generally prefers masters and PhDs is quantitative finance. Um, firms such as uh, Citadel or like hedge funds typically like having people with a master's and a high GPA. If you didn't get a good enough GPA in your undergrad, getting a master's could be a way of resetting that. I didn't have the greatest GPA in my undergrad, so getting a master's to reset that might be a good way for me to sort of say I, say I took another stab at school and I really liked it this time. I know I have the capability of doing that, but I might have didn't have the focus when I was an undergrad 
or I might have had other issues such as depression or ADHD and anxiety that I was plagued with when I was an undergrad. So there's a couple reasons where getting a master's might make sense. And also knowing that whether to do an on-campus master's and an online master's is an important question to ask yourself if you decide to do a master's. For example, if you get an online master's, you might be able to work full time while you do your master's and then you won't actually take the hit of spending close to 50 to 100 grand and lodging or moving to a different place to get a CS master's that might not pay off in the long term. If you can get an online master's, that might be something that lets you work while taking classes. Of course, you need the diligence and the, um, and the drive to do that, but you could actually be making money while you're getting your master's and using the stuff you learn in your master's at your job and gaining real life experience from it. There is a, tons of options of online master's programs, MBA programs, and while they might not be the Harvards, the MITs, or like the Columbias, they are still like very reputable, especially if you already have experience, you can leverage your experience and use the masters to open more doors for you or even get a higher level position in your current company. So I think that there are a lot of pros and cons of getting a masters. The cons of course are, they might not pay off. It's expensive, it's especially if you offer like a, one of those masters that costs you under grand, like an MBA, um, some of them cost a lot of money, but they could pay off and they could open doors into your next Fourier as a um, pr working professional. So take it as you will. And thanks for watching my tech talk. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe and comment below if you are thinking about getting your master's and what, I, what you want me to talk about next. Peace out, guys.